Hi, I'm Felix, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to verify the permissions when creating a knowledge base in Amazon Bedrock. Let's get started. To create a knowledge base in Amazon Bedrock, you must use a service role that provides the required permissions to access necessary AWS services. You can either use the service role that Amazon Bedrock creates, or you can create your own custom role. Let's review these error messages and their corresponding permission requirements when setting up your Amazon Bedrock knowledge base. The first error is not able to find or see custom service role while creating knowledge base from console. This error occurs when the custom service role is missing the necessary trust policy. The trust policy defines which users or roles can assume the role and under which conditions. Let's go to Amazon Bedrock. On the left panel, let's go to Knowledge Base, click on Create. We're going to give it a name. Here were the two options where you can either use an existing service role or you can create a new service role. If we are going to use an existing service role, we would need to create that through the IAM console. So here I'm going to go back to IAM. Navigate to the IAM console. You don't need to select an AWS region. In the navigation pane under Access Management, choose Roles. In the search bar, we'll search for the role name. On the Trust Relationships tab, choose Edit Trust Policy. Enter the Trust Policy and include your AWS account ID and region. Then choose Update Policy. When you attach the Trust Policy to the service role, only AWS Bedrock is allowed to assume the role. Also, the request must come from your account and be related to AWS Bedrock Knowledge Base resources from your account and region. Now, let's review the not authorized to perform IAM create role or IAM pass role errors. The second error being user is not authorized to perform IAM create role or third error, user is not authorized to perform IAM pass role. These errors happen when the IAM user or role that you're using does not have the IAM create role or IAM pass role permission. To resolve this issue, Add the IAM create role permission to your IAM policy to allow the service role to perform the attach role policy, create role, and put role policy actions. It's a best practice to include the attach role policy and put role policy actions so that you don't experience issues with attaching or putting policies to the role later on. Also, add the IAM pass role permission so that Amazon Bedrock can assume the role. To add one of these permissions to your policy, you can either use the Visual Editor or JSON Editor. To use the Visual Editor, navigate to the IAM console. In the Navigation pane, under Access Management, choose Roles. In the search bar, we'll search for the role name. On the Permissions tab, choose the Add Permissions drop-down and then choose Create Inline Policy. Because we're resolving this issue for only one IAM role, we're selecting an inline policy. Use AWS customer managed policies for IAM groups or multiple IAM users or roles. For editor, choose visual, and then for service, search for IAM. Under actions allowed, search for and select create role, attach role policy, and put role policy for the IAM create role, IAM attach role policy, and IAM put role policy permissions. Also, add the pass role action for the IAM pass role permission. Under resources, choose specific. Next, choose add ARNs and text for the editor, and then enter the service roles ARN. Choose add ARNs and then choose next. Name the policy and then choose Create policy. Now, let me show you how to use the JSON editor. To resolve the issue, we'll add a new statement to the role's existing statements. First step, navigate to the IAM console. In the navigation pane under Access Management, choose Roles. 
In the search bar, we'll search for the role name. On the Permissions tab, choose the Add Permissions drop-down and then choose Create Inline Policy. For Policy Editor, we will choose JSON and then enter the new statement. Choose Next. Name the policy and then we'll click on Create Policy. Next, let's review the knowledge base, validation, exception, storage, configuration, invalidity, errors. The fourth error, an error occurred, validation exception, when calling the create knowledge base operation, the knowledge base storage configuration provided is invalid, bad authorization, or the knowledge base storage configuration provided is invalid, request failed, security exception 403 forbidden. These errors can occur when the service role does not have permission to access Amazon OpenSearch serverless collections. The data access policy for the collection doesn't include the service role under the principal section. Or Amazon Bedrock did not correctly authenticate the AWS Secrets Manager configuration. To grant the service role permission to access OpenSearch serverless collections, use the IAM console and follow the same steps that I showed you to attach this policy to the role to allow access. Also, make sure that the role has sufficient permission to invoke the embedding model that will perform the text to vector embedding conversions and store them in the vector database. For example, I can add a permission to invoke the Titan embed text v1 model. Now, if your Amazon Bedrock service role does not have data access policy for the collection, then make sure that data access policy gives permission to the Bedrock service role and that the service role is listed under the principal section of the policy. I'm in the Open Search console now. In the left panel, I'm going to click Collections. I'm going to click on the collection created automatically from Knowledge Base. And then right at the bottom here, there is data access. I'm going to click on Manage Data Access, then Create Access Policy. Give the policy a name. We're going to select JSON. However, you can also choose Visual Editor. And basically what this policy does is for the principal, the bedrock role created right at the start. This example policy grants alias and template permissions to the collection called Bedrock Knowledge Base BHJVC8. It also grants read and write permissions to all indexes within the knowledge base collection. And let's choose create. Finally, if Amazon Bedrock did not correctly authenticate the secrets manager configuration, then your vector database is configured with a secrets manager secret. To resolve this issue, make sure that Amazon Bedrock service allows Secrets Manager to authenticate your account for you to access the database. To allow the creation of an AWS KMS key for transient data storage in the process of ingesting your data source, attach the following policy to your Amazon Bedrock service role. Make sure to replace region, account ID, and key ID with the appropriate values. Let's review the no such index error. Fifth error, no such index, bedrock knowledge base default index. Amazon OpenSearch serverless might take time to distribute systemic changes or updates across all nodes or replicas of an index. So this error can occur when you try to access data during the distribution process. To resolve this issue, confirm that the service role has permission to access OpenSearch serverless. Be sure to replace account ID with your ID, as well as collection ID with your collection ID. Next, check whether you can display the index or manually create one in OpenSearch service as a user. For instructions on how to do this, see the link in the video description. If you can create an index, the system is working but needs time to propagate. If you can't manually create an index, then check that you have the create index permission to create one. Please ensure to replace account ID with your actual account ID, as well as user with your username. To confirm that you successfully created the index, open the OpenSearch console and then navigate to collections. 
under serverless, select the collection name that's associated with the knowledge base. Then choose indexes to view the index. When clicking into indexes tab, if you see a 403 status error message stating type authorization exception reason user does not have permissions for the requested resource, then you will need to click into the overview tab, scroll down to the data access box, and then click on the policy name that was created earlier. Then in this new page, you will need to review the principles that have access to the index. To edit it, click on the edit icon on the top right. For simplicity, we will just leave Visual Editor selected. And then here, we would need to add the principle for which you are accessing the OpenSearch console. For demonstration purposes, I am using admin. However, please ensure that you select a suitable IAM user when updating this policy. So here, I am going to select role. As I was accessing the OpenSearch console in an admin role, I am going to select admin. However, I've already done that before, but just make sure that this is selected. Click on save and click on save again. If you have permissions, then wait around five minutes for the configuration to propagate changes across the system. Note that creating a collection doesn't create an index. So if you use AWS CloudFormation or Terraform to manually create a knowledge base, then make sure that you also create the index. Because you can't use CloudFormation to create an index and vector field, instead use a custom resource, such as an AWS Lambda function in the CloudFormation template. Then use the Lambda function to create the index for the collection. For more information about creating indexes and collections using CloudFormation, please refer to the Knowledge Center article linked in the description. Now you know how to troubleshoot permission errors when you create a knowledge base in Amazon Bedrock. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.